I got probably 50 of them. The older stuff, no, but actually one of my subscribers set up a channel, or I'm sorry, a webpage for me, and had been saving all of my old stuff. Uh, it's so they call it freedom.com. It's okay. got all my old videos on it, except for maybe like the last four, but I have those. Yeah. And it's got a link where you can send me an email to get in touch with me, at the, like at the bottom of the page. That's cool. And this is a subscriber set it up? Yeah. Uh, his name's uh, Troy. I, I, I won't give his last name because he didn't give me permission to publicize his information. But yeah, he was a subscriber of mine. He's actually one of the first people to contact me. About my channel being taken down, he sent me an email. I don't know what happened. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, I've actually had a lot of people call me and want to know what's going on. And, you know, I guess a lot of people are concerned. Yeah, well, I didn't even... So, let me back up. So, I've been watching your channel for a really long time. And um, I watch it, like, you post at least, like, one video a day. Sometimes a couple. So, I didn't even know that, you know, anything happened to your channel because I didn't get a notification or anything until I was in, you know, um, a live video and someone in the chat said that your channel was just deleted. It was just gone. And I'm sure... Yeah, yeah, they just put, like, a red banner up on my channel that this channel has been deleted due to bullying threatening or harassing behavior or something like that. So how did you find out? Did they notify you or did someone else tell you? Well, actually, I had just gotten home from work and I got a text from a buddy here locally. Um, he's a guy called Audits of Freedom. We were actually planning an, an audit that day to go out to the uh, to where... Uh, uh, works. So that's the security guard that was calling me and yeah. giving me death threats and all that. And he works for the county. Yeah. And he was on his way over, and he's like, "Hey, man, I just checked on your channel. Did you notice it's deleted?" <laughs> and I was like, "What?" And then I went on there, and sure enough, it was gone. And then I checked my uh, email, and there was all these notifications from YouTube. I've never had a strike. Never had nothing like that. Yeah. And it said that your channel violated guidelines. And the main one that they were upset about was the one with the guy from G that had gone around town and put up flyers about me, that I was a sexual predator and all this crap. <laughs> about two months ago, maybe, maybe the last six weeks. I can't recall exactly. But I had filmed him because uh, I was down at the child support office and I was filming. And he got upset that I filmed his wife and all this stuff. Okay. So he went around to all the gas stations putting up a flyer like with my uh, face on it. Yeah. yeah, and so since I filmed him from the street, like at his work, and I put the phone number for Gene, which is the auto garage he works at, they said that was like harassing behavior, and it's banned from the YouTube platform, and it's a serious uh, community guideline strike and all this crap. So that was the one that, that got your channel deleted? Yeah, yeah, and... Uh, then I made the appeal to YouTube and they rejected it at 4.30 in the morning today. Sent me a thing saying that they rejected the appeal and they're going to keep the account suspended. Like permanently, so it's just permanent. Yeah, permanently. I don't know, just from watching it, it seems like you've got a up county and people that just like to pick on you too much. Yeah. That's what it seems like to me. They're pretty terrible. I I really started to hate a lot of those people. It's a combination of, you know, bad luck and just people that have too much time on their hands, I think. Well, I think what really got me messed up was when the media got involved, the, the, the uh, NBC2 people. I think you? that really had something to do, because all this happened at, you know, at this time with that and that's very strange coincidence because the video they're talking about is two months old and then all of a sudden now i can't be on youtube uh, I, I don't know if maybe it's an image thing with youtube they don't want to be affiliated with me because of the negative press or so you go on the news and then all of a sudden youtube deletes your account yeah yeah that's what i'm saying interesting it seems like you've been doing this for a while you said four years yeah almost since 2015 Wow. 
Okay. April of 2015. Damn. Um, it seems from what I've seen that you maybe watch Jeff Gray. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeff Gray, because he's in my state, man. He's like the god. Yeah, I've somewhat modeled myself off of Jeff Gray, and uh, I think he's a real great guy. Um, I say I modeled myself mainly after him. News Now Houston, and that's probably the two main people I watch as, like, auditors. You know, it's like me. If the county knows I'm going somewhere for an audit, you know, they try and set me up and do things. So I have to be cautious of that. Like, what have they done? Well, they'll make sure there's, like, extra police there. They'll put policies in that you can't bring in cameras, like they did to me at Kangaroo Court. Um, Can you explain this kangaroo court? Um, the one for trespassing? Well, I where I live, I'm from New Hampshire and Massachusetts, New England. They don't have kangaroo court or quasi-court, whatever they call it. So I don't really... Yeah, yeah, quasi-judicial, but I call it kangaroo court because it makes leaps to justice. <laughs> yeah, what is this? How, how is it legal? Well, it's something, well, now, actually, that ties into the previous question. See, now, what the county has done is, because of my audits and filming people and doing what they refer to as my stunts or shenanigans. Exercising uh, your rights, your stunts. Yeah, they've, they've enacted a county ordinance <laughs> that they have the authority to trespass you from a, from a, from a public place uh, for, for violating certain rules uh, the the favorite one that they always like to trespass me for is harassing threatening or unsafe behavior which is basically they consider harassing just to film someone that doesn't want to be filmed <laughs> so and when they trespass you you have 10 days to appeal it and what the county does is they set up this quasi judicial i guess hearing where they pay a private attorney. Well, last time they actually had the county attorney represent the county. That was a big surprise. Every time before that, they get a private attorney and he comes in there and he presents the county's case as to why you should, why should they uphold the trespass. And then you have a, what they call a special magistrate, which is another lawyer that they hire to come in there and he acts like the judge. But I've confronted him before because how can he be unbiased when he's paid by the county? Exactly. So if he rules against me, how long can he expect to have his job doing this shit? <laughs> you know, and then, uh, you know, their like evidentiary procedures are very interesting. They don't have to produce any witnesses. Hearsay is admissible. There's no discovery process. You know, basically, you have to, he's going to come in there and say all his shit, and then you're going to have to, you know, just come off with some kind of defense that, you know, like you just thought up in, like, thir three minutes. <laughs> uh, it, it's it's a very bizarre hearing, and then, the, like, then at the end of it, the magistrate's like, you know, well, I have up to seven business days to issue an order, and then two days later in your mailbox, there's a paper in there that, yeah, we're affirming the the trespass against you. Except for the last time when I finally <laughs> beat the assholes. Yeah, the... I beat them last time. The armored car? Yeah, with the armored car, I beat them in there. Yeah. And then, so to pay me back for that, because I'd been trespassed from the jail for fighting words, which <laughs> I found was unusual because... This is the first time I've been trespassed from a place without harassing behavior because they said my sign that said fuck the jail was fighting words. And uh, but what happened was I was filming the visitation and this guy just decided he's going to come out and go crazy and punch people and do all this stuff. And then they gave him like a notice to appear for a battery, which isn't possible because in the state of Florida, battery is a, like a no bond charge. Like you got to get arrested and go to jail and then like in the morning they get to see a judge and then the judge will set bond and the judge will set conditions like you can't like, have any contact like with the victim well they gave him like a notice to appear and then he left 
and then they issued me a trespass. They weren't even going to trespass the other guy. And then, like, I told the cop, like, hey, man, don't you realize that rule number one on your trespass shit is that to, to violate any state or local or federal law while on county property? So then they went, and they said they trespassed him. I don't know if they actually have. And then, so I went, and then, like, I appealed that trespass. And because I won, like, in the kangaroo court, uh, Miss Knowlton, the attorney for the county, decides she's going to rescind that trespass, which is their own ordinance and their own law. And then they're going to issue me a, a criminal trespass, which is like what you get like when you steal from a Walmart because that's a private property, which is permanent. Like it lasts forever and there's no way to appeal it. And then when I was trying to confront her about it, you know, like at the uh, you know, like at that event for the county that she went to, she wouldn't even talk to me. Or she, she just said that the sheriff did it. And then she had the cops walk her out to her car. Yeah, yeah so kangaroo court is very interesting. That's for private property, isn't it? Not for uh, yeah. That's yeah. The uh, criminal trespass. That's for that's that's for private property, dude. You're not supposed to use that. That violates their own law. There's been Florida Supreme Court decisions about those. That's why they have to have kangaroo court because there's a Supreme Court decision in Florida, the city of St. Petersburg, versus I can't remember the guy's name, but it's a group of like homeless people, and like the ACLU got involved because the city of St. Petersburg was trespassing like all of these like homeless people from like the park and the sidewalk and you know, like all these public places so they came down okay if you're going to trespass people from from public property there has to be some kind of redress they have to have a way to appeal it and blah 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 and it can't be permanent yeah so that's why that the county in their bizarre twist of what they find law to be decided well we'll illegally trespass him from places we're exercising constitutional rights, but what we will do is we'll follow the Florida Supreme Court's decision and we'll make sure he at least has a kangaroo court so that there's the like illusion of due process and he can, you know, act like that he's trying to present a case and defend himself, but we'll still find him guilty when everything looks wonderful. In fact, I feel kind of weak right now without the YouTube because now I can't post things and they can do whatever they want, even if I film it, you know, I, I don't have a way to publicize their tyranny, so they're, they're just going to run free again. It's like they took away your voice. They suppressed Yeah, basically, first, yeah, that's what they did. They suppressed your First Amendment right in a legal way. Yeah, because YouTube's not considered a public forum. It's YouTube's yeah. own private shit, and they can do what they want, apparently, so... Um, well, I, I've had a lot of privacy strikes on YouTube, but I've only had one that ever stuck, and that was with that. And coincidentally, that's right around the same time, too, as this other bullshit. They went and they removed that video two days before um, they took down my channel. Uh, when I went down there to City Hall, and I got Mike and Donnie, you know, Mike has Tyranny Solutions uh, channel. Mm-hmm. And, you know, had them go inside of the city hall and film in there and confront them about their no filming policy. And then that, that uh, redheaded lady came out and was taking our picture with her phone. Yep. And then asking us why we, we were filming outside of city hall. Did you see that one? Yeah. 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 And then she went and filed a privacy complaint against me on YouTube. And that one and actually, YouTube, huh? And that one actually stuck. Yeah, because they, they do this thing where they're like, you have 48 hours to remove the content, blah, yep. blah, blah. Yep. And then if you don't, YouTube will take uh, action to remove your content. Mm-hmm. And so this, they sent me that. And I, mean, like, I had, like, and I already had, like, you know, four or five of those before. And they just went away after the 48 hours because, like, when you look under YouTube's privacy thing, mm -hmm. like, you have to, like, reveal somebody's social security number or their address Mm -hmm. or, you know, shit like that. And, uh, you know, like, and I didn't do, like, any of that with her. And then they sent me a thing after the 48 hours that I needed to produce uh, a consent form that she had signed granting me permission <laughs> to make my production with her. Yeah. And I didn't have it, so then they went and they removed the video per their guidelines and then sent me an email about it. Okay. Yeah, so they sent me the same thing when that happened with me when a prison guard filed a privacy complaint 
because I posted his name, just his name and like his position at the prison. Uh-huh. And um, I appealed it, and they asked me for a waiver, like a signed consent form or waiver. And I just responded that it's a First Amendment protected activity, and he is a government employee, and he walked up to me on a public sidewalk, and there's no expectation of privacy. And then YouTube spent like a week, you know, considering it, and they said, okay, then, you know, we've upheld your... Um, appeal and you know your video can stay oh so you actually won your appeal but they didn't even give me that option dude because i was going to tell youtube like hey this lady came up to me outside of a building on a sidewalk asking me what i was doing also taking pictures of me you know yeah what's the deal yeah she did exactly the same thing she just didn't post it what do you think of those assholes wow did you see how they blurred out his name and everything when they're trying to, like, protect him? But then, like, everything's, like, Ian McGuire, Ian McGuire. And that's the same guy. That, I don't know if you saw that video that I put up, like, uh, with him calling me. It was, like, the last video I posted. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah. When he gets drunk, he, he calls me, apparently. The cops here, they all know where I live. They all know what I do for work. They were kind of afraid of me and standoffish here for a while because they don't want to be on YouTube and... You know, they know that I generally win if I have encounters with them, so. Mm-hmm. But now I'm worried because I don't have that to fall back on, you know? They might be feeling they can get away with shit now. Well, you have, <laughs> like I said, you have a lot of support. Like, not just, you know, from myself or your subscribers. Like, a lot of other channels, you know, support you and are not happy about your channel getting deleted. So, so what about, um... If your subscribers want to contact you. Well, like I said, that guy set that page up and it at the bottom it's got a link and you can and it'll take you to so they call it freedom, but you can just go to um McGuire nineteen ninety at Yahoo dot com mm-hmm. and you can send me in like an email there directly and I'll give you my phone number once you uh, email me and then I'll I'll try and contact you or you can contact me. Okay, cool. <laughs> Well, yeah, definitely pass out the word to other auditors. Give them my information. You can feel free to give my phone number and my like, my email. And if I do come back to YouTube, I think my first video is going to be Chicken Man Returns. <laughs> With, what's your sign going to say? You can't keep me quiet or something. <laughs> I'll have to go to the administration building and hold that one. Fuck YouTube. <laughs> Fuck YouTube. <laughs> I don't know, I want to come off right off the bat with that. That might get me flagged, but... Maybe that could be the thumbnail. <laughs> you know, I at least want to be able to have the channel for a month or two before they delete it. <laughs> I wonder if I can just keep doing that, just keep creating different YouTubes. Now, I've promoted people. I've promoted Cop Watch. My channel, his channel actually got deleted by YouTube for copyright shit, and he had to make a new one. At that point, my channel was bigger. I promoted him. I promoted Mike with Tyranny Solutions. I promoted Phil with Southwest Florida Accountability, promoted Audits of Freedom. Um, yeah, so I've, I've, I've promoted a few channels. Yeah, Phil, he lives in Cape Coral, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's in the chats all the time. Yeah, yeah I was, I've, I've, you know, I feel like uh, he said he got involved. I'm not sure I 100% inspired him, but he definitely... Why do I did? We went on a few audits. Most recently, a couple months ago, we went down to the DMV again, you know, the one I got trespassed from, and he went in there. Oh, okay. And uh, he was videotaping an armored car outside. That's the one the guy said in court that they triggered the silent alarm, and that's why I knew to do it at the administration building. Okay. But, um... Yeah, so, I mean, I've at least spun off a few auditors in my area anyway, that's pretty cool. So like I said, they're going to be feeling my impact for a while, even if they did take my channel away. I don't think you're going to be silenced forever. I don't think so either. I'll figure out something. I think you enjoy being annoying. <laughs> yeah, I do. You know, that's one of my fortes. <laughs> They've, you know, they wanted to annoy the piss out of me for a long time, so I made sure to start returning the favor. But in a way that's constitutionally protected. Exactly. And it doesn't violate any laws. Exactly.
like that old lady that was at the event center the other day. You know, I was like, do you want me to sing you a song while I walk you out to your car? <laughs> and he's like, what is he doing? I've seen him so many places. And you'll see me several more, too. <laughs> Sir, I'm, I make the TV. <laughs> oh, yeah, when I told that guy that at the agricultural office. What, did you see that on TV somewhere? I was like, no, sir. Sir, I make the TV. <laughs> exactly. Did, did you like that quip? You know, that's something else, you know, that, you know, is the quips. You got to be spot on with those. I know. I work on that. Yeah. I've gotten pretty good. I think the problem is your county is just overrun by um, retirees. and Yeah, it's a retirement community. And they're totally out of touch and clueless and resistant to change. So. Did you see the one where the when I had the sign uh, "fuck the snowbirds"? <laughs> yeah. Hey, is there a problem here? And I'm like, uh, is there? <laughs> I don't know, buddy. Is there? <laughs> and then he's like, "What are you doing in our pot?" He's got some accent from like fucking Massachusetts, and I'm like, uh, "Yeah, and you're like, well, I'm not in your part, dude." Yeah, and you're hating on the Patriots. <laughs> like, look at all these guys. <laughs> Yeah, the guy had a Patriot shirt on. Well, they and then I was like, hey, man, you ever heard of the First Amendment? And he's like, you ever heard of the Second? And I'm like, I've heard of it. 